Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's Adrienne. Hope you guys are doing good today. So tonight I am in my kitchen. I am actually getting ready to make dinner for myself and the kids. We are having some wingettes that I have thought out. I have them in the sink now. Um, I am also making, my daughter wants macaroni and cheese. This is kind of her little dinner that she wants. Um, she's like a little bit under the weather. So I said I would make this for her, um, but she wants the wingettes. She wants mashed potatoes and she wants macaroni and cheese and i may like um microwave steam some vegetables also to go along with that but yeah let's go ahead and i'll show you guys everything that we have and we'll get right, started i'll with show you the chicken first so these are the party wings that i'm using it's two different kinds i didn't realize i pulled out two different kinds but whatever in any case um i got these out the freezer today and thawed them out they're not exactly fully thawed out right now but um i'm gonna rinse them with some water and that'll kind of complete the process it's like just a little bit of ice that's still on them but in any case i'm gonna rinse these off and then um go ahead and season them and i'm gonna cook them in the air fryer tonight this is my air fryer i cleaned it out a little bit from this morning um so here is our wingettes that we have i think i counted like 24 or 25 um i just rinsed them off in here because like i said there was a little bit of like what i call frost on them I did heat up my air fryer just like a minute just to have it warm already um this is the bowl that i'm going to be using to um season my wings in i just i like to rinse them in the sink um and my sink is clean but um, anyway, I'm using, what am I doing? So these are the seasonings that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna show these first. Normally, like I always use garlic Parmesan and I wanted to do something different, especially with all the seasonings that I have in our pantry. So I'm gonna do like a mixture of this garlic Parmesan and this Hawaiian chicken seasoning. Um, I'm just, hopefully that it'll give it like a, a different flavor. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I can't, where did I get this from? I think I got this from Walmart. So yeah, I'm gonna mix both of those together, season the chicken, the wingettes, cook them in the air fryer. And then I'm also going to be cooking this macaroni and cheese. I think I've had this since like last year. Um, and actually these are the last two macaroni and cheeses that I have, um, which means I'm gonna have to get some more. So I have to put that, commit that to memory to get some, but um, I'm gonna be cooking these, but then I'm also going to do my own little twist on it. So I have sharp cheddar, and I have mild cheddar here. Um, also, I have milk in the refrigerator as well. But um, I'm going to be cooking these loaded baked mashed potatoes. Um, what else? I think that is it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is a little bit cumbersome to do with only one hand. But these are both the seasonings. Um, and I'm just going to shake it around in here with my hand. Thank God I have short nails. These are like all 25 wings. <laughs> I'll probably add some more um, seasoning. Oh, it smells good, actually. I was worried. Let me see. This thing is moving all around. I was worried about how it was going to, like, you know, smell and everything and eventually taste with mixing these two types of seasonings together. But it smells really good, actually. And I just, before I put the wingettes in here, like I rinsed them off one last time and put them in the bowl. Oh, it smells really, really good. Really good. But yeah, just give these a toss. This is pretty much what I do. Now you could also marinate these. Like if I wanted to, to let them sit um, for a little bit in the refrigerator, I could do that as well. Um, I made some steak the other night that I cooked in the air fryer. OMG, I have to insert a picture, but it was really, really good. Actually, you know what? I made steak, like regular steak, and then I made, um, I think it was uh, New York strip steak. And then I also made some uh, hamburger steak, both in the air fryer. Y'all, this thing, it is a dream. I, you know, having an air fryer, I think it definitely changes the game up in the kitchen because for the longest, like I just dismissed it. Like, oh, what's so special about an air fryer? It's, why would I buy another piece of equipment when I already have a stove? But listen, oh, you don't have to worry about the house getting all hot and everything and 
you don't have to worry about waiting for the stove to warm up like it, it cooks faster and it still cooks evenly in my opinion like i really think that it cooks more evenly than like just a regular stove um i'm debating do i want to add anything else to this oh you know what i normally add when i cook really when i cook any meat i'll normally add olive oil like a little bit of olive oil um but these seasonings like they're they're sticking pretty well normally i'll add it in the beginning to help the seasoning stick especially if it's like a dry seasoning um but because i had just rinsed these there was like a little bit of you know a little bit of water left and it kind of has accumulated at the bottom so yeah these are good to go um i may rinse my hand off i may add a couple more seasonings let me so i'm gonna add a little bit of old bay seasoning not a lot just a little bit and then i'm gonna attempt to toss this bowl and then i have some italian seasoning i put italian seasoning on like everything everything this is probably one of the most used seasoning in the house but yeah i'm just gonna mix this up and then i'm gonna lay it in the air fryer now some people will put um like paper in the air fryer on the bottom like parchment paper or whatever um i don't not that i like i wouldn't or like that i don't recommend it or whatever i just i'm just gonna go ahead and put it in there but if you want to lessen i guess maybe your cleaning to me it doesn't really make a difference because like either way i'm gonna clean my air fryer after i use it so yeah i don't really i don't really notice that much of a difference but who knows if you feel like you need to use it then by all means go ahead do you all right, so that is good. Let me get a close up. You can see all the seasonings up there. I love using this bowl actually. Um, I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. I have another one, I have a gray one as well. So I am going to, I can't do this with two hands. So I'm gonna open this air fryer and I'm going to place the wings up there. All right, so here we have all the wingettes in here. Well, not all of them, about half of them in here. Um, and I am just going to literally put them in here. And then boom, because I already preheated it, like it's already um, turned on. So this has 13 minutes on it. I don't really have a set time to tell you as far as like how long to leave them in here. Um, I am gonna check these about probably halfway through to see how they look. And then I'll likely flip them if I need to. Um, and then, you know, just kind of go from there and then I'll put the other half in. All right, so while that is cooking in the air fryer, I am going to boil some water in this pot and cook my macaroni and cheese pasta. I'm gonna fill this about half full. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. This is, oh, I didn't even see, hold on. Let me see how, what the time is on it. Um, all right, so <laughs> they cook really, really fast. I only have four minutes left, but look at these. They're looking pretty good, but see, Ava wants crispy wings, and I like my, I like my meat a little bit, a little bit brown, like not burnt, but like almost burnt. So I'm probably gonna let this finish out these three minutes, and then I'm gonna flip them and cook them again. But I'll show you that. All right, y'all. So my water is boiling, and I am going. There's a packet in here I need to take out first, but I'm gonna add the macaroni to the water. Now, mind you, this is not like the typical macaroni <laughs> that I like, um, but it's all that we have right now. So that's all that we're using. Um, but I need both hands to do this because I need to stir it as well. So I'm gonna put the camera down, but I'll show you guys once we're further along. All right, the macaroni and cheese is pretty much done as far as the, the pasta noodles are concerned. I let mine boil while I'm stirring it continuously until they get soft, because I like my noodles soft. The chicken is like cooking just as fast as the macaroni and cheese is, y'all. So I'm like zigzagging back and forth. But um, I'm getting ready to drain this macaroni and cheese. And then I'm gonna add the, um, I'm <laughs> did I say I'm gonna drain the macaroni and cheese? I'm gonna drain this macaroni and then I'm gonna add my milk, my butter, 
I'm gonna add, I am gonna use the powdered cheese, but then I'm also gonna use the shredded cheese that I have as well. Um, I'm not baking this at all. I'm just gonna add the cheese in as is and call it a night. All right, y'all, so I wanted to stop for a minute um, and show you the macaroni and cheese. So this is, I didn't get a chance to show you it, but this is the macaroni and cheese. Um, I put probably about a cup of uh, this grass-fed milk in there, and then I put some butter in here, and then what else, what else, what else? Oh, the, the packets of cheese that it came with. So the two packets, one in each box that I use, I put those in there, and I just stirred it up. Um, I haven't put any other seasonings in here just yet. I'm getting ready to put in some cheddar cheese i don't know which one of these i might use both of them and then i'm gonna put a layer on top i changed my mind i'm actually i'm gonna turn the stove on actually i need to preheat it um let's do 385 um i'm gonna put this in the oven and give it that kind of crispy top um macaroni and cheese is in the oven cooking and the mashed potatoes these are the mashed potatoes that's how they turned out um that's there so let me put the chicken in here and i'll come back when everything all right y'all so this is the final look at the chicken um i actually ended up stopping it probably closer to the 13 minute mark so all together yeah i would say that this cooked for about maybe 22 minutes um but yeah there's my chicken nice and crispy and brown how i like it um i'm just gonna transfer these actually well no i'm gonna pick them up i'm actually gonna pick these up with the tongs because I don't want the grease. Let me slide this a little bit closer. I'm using a pie dish. I don't have a lot of like serving dishes, unfortunately. Um, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just using this uh, pie dish right here to put the wings in. They look so nice and brown, how I like them. All right. So set that right there. There's the first half of the chicken. Doesn't it look good? Oh my God, it looks so, so good. All right, now I'm gonna load these last, uh, the second half in here. Wait, in case you're wondering, this is what your air fryer will look like when you cook like 25 pieces <laughs> of wingettes. So yeah, I'm gonna um, probably, I'm probably gonna soak this tonight. Ugh, can't talk. Um, I'm going to soak this tonight and clean it out in the morning. I'll probably put like a little bit of dish detergent in there and just fill it up with hot water and let it soak overnight. And then I'll take it apart because this right here comes out and push this part right here and um, just clean both of it in the morning. All right, y'all, let me turn this fan off. We finally finished cooking the wings. Um, so I, I'm tossing them around right now um, to get this sauce coated on them. I'm gonna show you the sauce in just a minute, but let me finish. They actually, whoop, they actually turned out better than I thought. Um, I wasn't gonna put any sauce on them, but Ava decided that she wanted a little bit of sauce, so I said, okay. All right, last one right there, okay. So this is the sauce that I use. I was debating back and forth between this Jim Beam Maple Bourbon or the Rufus Teague Whiskey Maple, but I ended up using this. So Rufus Teague made some sauce, whiskey maple. It's like a, basically it's like a barbecue sauce, but it has, I guess, some whiskey seasoning, flavoring, whatever in it. Um, I can't really taste it, or maybe I haven't had it in a while. I'm not sure, but anyway. But this is the kind of the final product. Um, let me hop over here and show you, this is the macaroni and cheese. I didn't let it stay in there long. Um, and Ava had like a little bit, a little piece of it down there. Let me go ahead and cut through so I can get it on up camera. Ah, it's hard to do this with one hand, y'all. It's hard. Okay. But there is the mac and cheese and also the mashed potatoes so they sat here for a while um well not a while but yeah they sat here while i was getting everything else ready and they thickened up a bit i forgot that these like will thicken up after you let them sit so yep there is the mashed potatoes all right y'all so final product it is like 
almost 10 30. i did not really plan on starting this late but it is what it is at least we have food for maybe one or two days to be honest with you because i know when gabriel comes down here he's gonna attack those wings but yeah final product um i am going to eat i'm going to watch a little bit of tv i think i'm gonna finish watching the second season of bridgerton and i'm going to call it a night all right i got him in the camera frame right there so hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace out